we are experiencing torrential downpour and flooding. This is unsustainable. You can't sleep in this. It's actually dangerous. The group um, are requesting an exit from the island on the map. Over. Get me off this island. Midnight and the islanders' hopes for a dry night are over. For God's sake! We are f***ing night. They're just sitting waiting for either death or a rescue boat. Unbelievable torrential rain. Biblical on Dura's level. The stricken islanders are now being hit by the tail of a hurricane bombarding them with high winds and dumping up to 20 inches of rain. The only thing separating them from the elements is their incomplete palm frond shelter. You know what? I don't think we're going to be able to keep this fire going. They are genuinely concerned. That goes up out of here in a shot. I'm sitting here freezing my bollocks off. I'm absolutely soaked through to the bone. I'm standing in inches of water in bare feet. We're going to bed cold. We're all freezing. We're damp. Yeah. We are actually going to get ill. Quite a high chance of getting hypothermia. Oh, get that helicopter in here now. Absolutely freezing. I'm oh, so. Jane and the rest of the islanders are at serious risk from hypothermia. Their wet clothes combined with a wind chill factor means they're losing body heat 25 times faster than normal. The shelter that we're all staying under, that doesn't really withstand this kind of weather. It's just constantly raining. I just want to find them right. I just want to go. I don't see the point in doing this anymore. I don't want to leave on my own, but I'd be up for it if everyone wants to go. If it's for everyone out, then I am with everybody. I'm with a mass activist. I'm off. With the group desperate and at breaking point, cameraman Richie puts in a call to my safety team. Hello, Zero. This is Bravo. Over. I'm not doing it another day. I'm not doing it another day. Get me out of here. We are experiencing torrential downpour and flooding. This is unsustainable. You can't sleep in this. It's actually dangerous. The group um, are requesting an exit from the island on the map. Over. The visibility is just crap. Also, with all the debris in it, it's just too dangerous. I don't want to give you photos, but if you get a break, we will come to you. Over. Yeah, Roger. I am wet through, wet through right to my skin. Get it sorted now. Due to the extreme conditions, it's too dangerous for my safety team to launch. Not fair, though. Until the worst of the hurricane conditions are passed, the islanders are on their own. We've all shown, right, and we can sit here and we 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 can firefight. I'm doing this for another two weeks, there is literally no point for me. I haven't said that. Um, I really think I am going to feel like a complete failure if I take myself off this island. It's fucking crazy, mate. So what do we do tonight? Just well, sit here yeah. for the next six hours? Oh, for f***. <laughs> The islanders have survived the night in the brutal conditions. 
So those buckets were absolutely empty last night. That's a lot of rain. But starved of calories and unable to hunt, the weather is seriously threatening their survival. So we've had the worst night you can ever imagine. People are at breaking point. Can't survive here. We've got no chance. With no sign of a break in the weather, Jagger calls the group together to make the case for an evacuation. You can't keep people in this, this environment. We can't go and hunt. We can't keep a fire going. We can't survive here. No one wants to quit. No one wants to give up. But this is impossible, bud. Impossible. Don't beat yourselves up. I'm not. I'm 1 million percent happy that we've done everything in our power to make this uh, go. You've got to be a realist. And I'm just speaking real facts. We can't live in this environment. It's going to be the hardest thing to tell everyone at home. No feeling up. Most of them are just broken. And they want off. I totally get it. Totally understand it. But I'm not giving up. You can take me dragging and screaming scream off this island. It's the only way you're going to get me off it. That or in a box of pneumonia. I don't know. What a an island. And I will not be sorry to leave it. Explain to me why you're staying. I can't give up on this one thing for certain reasons. Right? But if, you, but if you don't do it today and things get bad, if you did it two days' time, would it be any difference to doing it today? Yeah, to me, it will. I have to, right at the bottom of my heart, know that I can't do any more here. And at this moment, I know I could sit in this for another 24, 48 hours. This ain't habitable. I can't live here. People, like, just... I don't know if people don't see what I see. All of a sudden, now he's got fucking strength for like 10 men he wants to carry on. That's, yeah. No, no, children. Don't let the island come between ya. I've already just spoken to Aaron. He's in the steering team, and he says he's going to dig it out of the... Uh, pull it out of the box, and he's, he's going to dig deep and find this inner strength. From where? No food. Plenty of water, no heat, no bed, no sleep. But he's got his own reasons. When life's not run the way you want it, when you've helped the hand of your loved one, you've lost that. And when you've lost what you think is everything, you start to give up and you start to just go along with life and join the group. And I'm not that man anymore. I'm not giving up, not because of rain, not because of peer pressure. I came here for a personal reason, to show that I can commit. And I'm gonna commit. <laughs>